This is NBC Connecticut News at 11. We battle this heat. Let's not forget about our pets, Darren. They're more susceptible to heat stroke because of all of their fur. And joining us today with ways to keep them safe in the scorching sun, we've got Alicia Wright with the Connecticut Humane Society. And let's not forget about Nova, our beautiful boxer. Four he's, years old? Isn't he gorgeous? Yes. He is gorgeous and he's very friendly. He's very, very friendly <laughs> and he is available for adoption at our Newington uh, facility at 701 Russell Road. Okay, great. Hopefully Nova can mug for the camera later so he can get adopted. <laughs> but let's get started. We have to remember, you can nuzzle up to my foot, it's okay. We have to remember that our pets rely on us, Nova and other pets rely on us for necessities such as shelter and water. We have to make sure we provide that. Yes, we do. And in this type of extreme heat, pets like uh, Nova with the flatter faces, mm -hmm. pets with black fur or very dark fur, ah. pets with very thick fur, and elderly pets can be even more susceptible to the heat. So we really want to encourage people to be especially mindful of any outdoor activity that they do, mm -hmm. any outside time that they provide for their animal. Uh, encouraging outdoor activity in the morning only. Yes. Um, try to stay off the asphalt and the concrete mm -hmm. because that could potentially burn their paws. Um, if yeah, you allow your that. pet outside, mm -hmm. we encourage daytime or early morning only because on a day like today, even the shade could be oppressive You're right. to a dog. However, if you do have them outside, Plenty of shelter and lots of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yes. Okay, some of the signs, though, what should we be looking for that your pet is overheating? What, I mean, obviously, I would think if they're acting abnormal, if, not what they're typically like. Exactly. If they're behaving abnormally, lethargy is a big problem when they're starting to go into heat stroke oh, or becoming just dehydrated. On cue, <laughs> he just he, he does this on cue. I think he likes the cool floor, though. Cool floors are, you are an wonderful. Actor, Nova? He, he might be. Um, <laughs> Excessive panting, mm -hmm. excessive okay. drooling, uh, okay. uh, those are all potential signs that your pet may be starting to suffer stress. And if you see that, you need to get to a veterinary care center immediately. Okay, that's very important. Very You've got to pay attention to the signs. Yes, there. you do. As far as leaving pets in the car, I don't know why people do this. You wouldn't leave a child in the car. You could, you shouldn't leave a pet in the car. It, it's, it's cruel. You absolutely should not leave a pet in the car. And let's remind everyone that the heat inside of your vehicle can raise up to the triple digits in a matter of 10 minutes oh boy so a short there's no such thing as a short errand yeah leave your pets at home on a, on a day like today okay I also mentioned that some people were thinking oh we're just gonna give our, our dog a haircut but you're saying you should check with your vet first and why is that check with your veterinarian first if you're gonna do a shave uh, many pets do rely on appropriate fur mm -hmm. in order to maintain heating and cooling so you're gonna want to check with your vet if you do want to do a shave down okay. however don't forego the grooming okay. regular grooming and brushing okay. will keep excess hair off of your pet and help them stay Cool. Okay, again, Nova, you want to put your best foot forward and get up? Or not, it's okay. So, Nova, again, tell us about this dog before we go because we want to get Nova uh, adopted. Nova is four years old. He is available for adoption right now at our Newington facility, and he is a purebred boxer. A face everyone could love, not only Absolutely. a mother, everyone, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Thanks Thank for you. coming in and some great healthy tips for our pets.